Today's repair is going to be to replace the speakers in this Nexus 7. These are a, a replacement set. These are used, purchased off of eBay. Uh, look at the price. You know, you can get these for four bucks. This is a used set. This is not, yeah, it's probably OEM, but probably out of a working system. Hopefully it's working. Uh, but anyway, four dollars, not so bad. Uh, what is nice, well, let's, let's take a li listen to this. Let's take a listen. Okay, you listen to it, you can hardly hear it. This is the speaker, it's high, this is as, as high as it'll go. There we've reduced it, there is as high as it go. You can hardly hear it. It's also really crackly, and so we know that something is a muck. Let's go ahead and power it off. Okay, what we don't want, we don't want to have power on it while we're fiddling with the electronics on it because you could short circuit something. What is nice about these Nexus is that they're put together in, uh, they're, they're relatively easy to take apart. If you see here, the seam, there's a little bit, there's a seam between this black plastic and this chrome piece. We're going to use a flat knife, uh, kind of dull, and we're going to place it in, in this space and just kind of pop it open. Uh, what I like about the knife, instead of a screwdriver, this will, uh, uh, instead of having a one sharp contact point, which is probably going to manipulate the plastic or crack it, this kind of spreads the pressure out, and so that you're, you're, you're going to end up with uh, uh, less abuse. So at any rate, here we're doing, we're just following, we're following the edge all along the unit. Again, it kind of to Nexus's credit, at least this is somewhat easy to take apart. A lot of these electronics are quite difficult to take apart, almost impossible, and so I give them credit for that part, but uh, I do think that they put in some really cheesy speakers. If even a used replacement is four bucks, you know that they didn't put in a uh, real great quality piece of equipment. Okay, so I'm going to recommend that even though this is a uh, a Nexus 7, I mean, it seems like when you look online, you're going to see different, different styles, different types of speakers here. This is the speaker. So I took mine apart first to identify, well, what kind of speakers do I have? Most specifically, we want to be sure that the type of a connector, and I'm kind of carefully removing this, this uh, it's probably like a heat sink material, okay? And so I knew that when I ordered the new set, which is this one here, that it was, it was going to be a good match. Here it is, pulling it out of the bag. We can kind of look at it. It's got the same connector, pretty much. It's slightly different. And look at this, it's got three screws. One, two, three. This is a different type of a screw. So we know that this is, this is a good replacement. Now I have to say that this connector, no, it looks like it is the same thing. So anyway, this is good. Uh, we've got three screws. We're going to use a very fine Phillips screwdriver, magnetic. What I like about the magnetic, this is a nice fine screwdriver. What I like about the magnetic is that it holds the screw once you unscrew it. Keep track. Do note, look, this is silver, black, black. I went ahead and I've actually marked it because sure enough, as soon as you take the darn thing apart, you're going to forget, well, why is this one silver? So just remember to put the, the screws in the same place. I'm sure that either the length or something is different on it. So I'm just going to be careful and place them more or less in front. 
Again, look at that. See, I like the fact that these are magnetic. Silver one goes here, black, and then there's a third one here. And that's the speaker assembly coming out. Okay, and now we're going to look underneath this. This is kind of like a copper, some type of a heat sink material, I'm sure. And relatively easy to pop out. Make sure you can see this. Okay, so there it is. It's out. Again, let's match up. This is the old one. This is the new one. Same type of connector. That's why you sort of want to take this apart, open it up, and just confirm that you have an exact replacement. Because I did notice that for the same unit, there are other types of uh, speaker assemblies that are sold. All right, so very carefully, I'm looking back in here. I'm not going to force this thing, but I'm also going to use a nice flat screwdriver. Get a, here's a nice flat. So again, this is an easy, easy fix. And I would suspect that these are cheesy. Uh, if they blow, I mean, we're not talking about a whole lot of volume on this thing to begin with. And if this speaker assembly blows that easily, we sort of know that this is not the best system. So there it is. I've kind of pushed it back into place. Lining up the holes. Oh, look at that. These are magnetic. So on the back of the speaker, it's got a little magnetic bar. So they just picked up the screws. So I know that this was silver. So here it is. Here's my silver. And what we're going to do is we're going to screw this thing in. But before I put it all back together, I'd like to test it. Being careful not to strip it when you make sure you go straight in. Don't force it. If it's not sliding in nice and easy, then you probably have got it crossed. I know that both of these black screws are the same. And let's get this one. This one is stuck. It's no good. Final screw. Stuck in. Oh, it's a, see, look at that. It, those speakers have a pretty strong magnet. So we're fighting against a little bit of a magnetic force from the speaker. Oop. I might have to tape this thing. All right, this is giving me a little bit of trouble. So I think what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a little bit of tape and counter the magnetic force of the speakers. As soon as I, as soon as I bring the screw close to the speaker, the magnetic, the magnet on the speaker pulls it away. Okay, so there it is. It's in. Got a little piece of tape that'll hold it. Get it started. Pull it out. Get rid of that tape. completely I just removed I just removed enough of this pulled it back so that I could get access uh, to to the connector so this is the old speaker and uh, let's see if this thing will turn on without the cover on because it would be nice to test it no I think we need it on in order to depress the buttons Everything is going to go on only one way. 
Uh, it is pretty easy to take it off. Slow to start. There are a couple YouTube videos on how to clean out the cache, which I recommend. And um, get it so that it boots up a little bit quicker, but that's not the intent of this video. And again, here's the old speaker. You really visually can't see anything wrong. We can certainly audibly hear that there is clearly something wrong with it. Um, In the dark, after the movie had started, I heard Hassan next to me croaking. Okay, Tears so remember what it sounded like I before? We replace the speakers. It's not crackly, much louder. So let's call this a wrap. I'm told no one was really surprised.